pretty crunchy. Our top story tonight, going back to earlier breaking news, 17-year-old Asia Stevens was pronounced dead following a drive-by shooting that took place earlier today on North Homewood Avenue. Stevens is not to believe to have any affiliation with a gunman. The family is not commenting at this time. As election season approaches, many are surprised that the current mayor, Malachi McGraw, has announced his re-election bid. This is coming off substantially low approval rating he received for his time in office that released last week. When asked about his decision to run again, McGraw stated the following. I have sat down and personally talked with countless members of the community. And the people are more determined than ever to bring change to this city. It is the responsibility of every resident to come together to ensure our future. And I believe that as your mayor, I have and will continue to fight with and for every last person in this city. The dryer didn't work. This asshole didn't do his job. And now I'm late. Cam, why won't you just give that man what you owe him? What do you mean? He was supposed to fix this three days ago. He gets paid when the shit gets done. Well, one of you is gonna have to break first. Fuck that, it's not gonna be me. I work way too hard for my shit. Well, did you speak to your dad yet? No. And why is that? Thought about it. Can't do it. You're crazy. Well, are you coming to see me after work? Now you know I have to help out at the office later. Cameron, are you serious? Why can't you just blow that off once, just for me? I would if I could, but... Tomorrow. Whatever. I promise. Well, shouldn't you be going? Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow if I don't get into it. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Good afternoon, Mr. Spivey. I just wanted to make sure you're still coming out tonight to help us bring in the campaign. Only a few more weeks and we'll have it in the bag. Before I forget, I have some major news I plan on announcing in huh? the next few days. And I want my team nah, 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 dude, I'm done. I don't want no parts anymore. Especially after the day, man. Yeah, I told that nigga already. Dude, he could replace me in a second, man, so he'll be good. Nah, besides, man, it's, it's, it's none of my business who he picks up anyways. Why do you keep saying that shit, dude? I'm done. If you want to go tell him, if you want to deliver the message, that's fine. I've, to I've already talked to the man. I already told him I'm done. I'm out. Yeah, all right. All right, one. Get off me, little bastard. You always playing too much, man. Stop sneaking up on all somebody. All right, all right, hey. Back to your schoolwork. Okay. Well, I'm going to basketball with Janae later. Nah, man, go finish your homework first, all right? Okay. Yeah, little nigga, take that. Oh, I'm going to take some sailor work. So, you going to snitch on me? Mm -hmm. Isaiah, you got 15 minutes. And what's your done take that garbage out? Thanks, sis.
Nigga, are you serious? What? Dude, meet me in the back. Dude, what the fuck? I told you I ain't down anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. my bad. So you just told me you was a few days ago. Nigga, what? He, he told me you knew what it was. Man, fuck Zeus, all right? I'm telling you right now, don't come back. Take this shit too, man. All right, be careful. You never know who he'll get to replace you. Or what they had to do to get that spot. What was that? We just had a conversation about this. No, uh, no, Mike, he ain't know. Okay, well, how long does it take? And I thought you were past this. If you keep disrespecting me like this, you're gonna have to leave. I... Disrespecting you like what? I just said he ain't know. You know I don't want Isaiah exposed to whatever bullshit you got yourself into. You should be worried about what he see at home. Oh, oh, don't try to flip this on me. The situation between me and his father is being dealt with. Trust me. So you prayed on it? Excuse me? What are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood. So, what do you want? There was a shooting earlier, about 2 p.m. Girl got caught in the crossfire. Just wondering if you heard anything. Dude, you woke me up for this, man. That's it? That's all I gotta say? Listen, I don't know what happened, and I don't have any information. When was the last time you talked to Zeus? I don't remember. You know it does to people to leave, right? Yeah, and I paid my debts. Take care of yourself. Yeah. First, let me say, this is a strong city. And even though our community has a severe problem with crime and gun violence, we do not let it define who we are. My very first action when I'm reinstated in office is to ensure the gun violence situation will be neutralized. Last summer, there were over 50 instances of gun activity. Once selected, this number will be cut. Girls like Asia and their family will no longer be victimized. We deserve to feel safe in our own community, and we will. Quinley, do you have a rebuttal? With all due respect to Mr. McGraw, this community is in shambles. Gun violence and homicide are through the roof. Resources for new jobs are nowhere in sight. Gang influence is stronger than ever, and these things will only get worse because those set in positions of leadership continuously fail to step up to the plate. This city needs a new face. It takes an outsider like me to make the necessary unbiased changes that have to be made. While some areas are worse than others, we have the statistics to prove that gun activity has gone down during the last few years. It's not good enough. So what's your plan? The people don't need promise. They need strategy. S strategy? I've watched your last term, and it seems your administration is constantly falling short. That's some bullshit, bro. Who? You listening to this? This <laughs> is fucking ridiculous. Yo, come on. You're late. I'm always late, man. Yeah, you're later than usual. Can you come inside with me today? Nah, yo, maybe tomorrow. Why? Listen, man, I got something I need to handle. I'm gonna be out here when you get finished, so just come straight out, all right? Okay. What's up, man? What's up, man? I'm just, huh? How you feeling? I'm all right. I've just been busy, man. I've been helping out with that McGraw campaign. So I've just been, like, all over the place. All right. All right. So you see the, uh, the bait? No, I didn't see it. 
Well, you was too busy or something? No, I'm not really into politics, so I just didn't watch it. So how you know who to vote for if you don't watch the debate? Well, I don't really pay attention. So ain't no, ain't nobody trying to vote, man. But if you don't vote, how you expect anything to change? I don't think my one vote really matters, so it's not gonna change anything. It's just me, me against however many people. It's not gonna work. All right, man. Yo, bro, I gotta run, but I'm gonna catch you when I get back. All right. So, um, what's up with that girl you've been talking to? She all right. She all right. All right. Take you to the gym with you? <laughs> nah, man. Too many girls at the gym, man. Yeah, I know. I'll be watching them wobble. Yo, uh, I gotta go. I got a text message from the office. I'm not surprised. I don't understand. These people say they want change, but they don't do shit to invest in it. Cameron, let me tell you something. These things don't know what they want. Like, they don't know how complex this game is. No matter what I'm doing, it's never enough. So what keeps you going? By staying true to myself and to the system, and not necessarily in that order. So, are you still talking to that girl? Which one, man? You know, the one with the crew here. Nah, man. Why not? You gonna help me get a bag or something? Mm-mm. You always ask some questions, man. I got a question for you. Yes? What you learn in school today? Aiden, finally going home? Uh, just as soon as I finish these copies. Sure you don't want a drink? Next time. There's good people in this city, people that deserve a chance. If we can't get them to vote. You wanna take that? They go away. I learned about how to properly use scissors in nature. Okay, okay. You learned that you can get hurt using scissors? Yes. <laughs> Give me a minute. What you learn about nature? I learned that people use wood to build fences okay. and use wood for fire to keep their house warm. Oh, okay, that's good. I like that. You're doing good in school, man. Keep up the good work, all right? Wait! Where are you going? To mind my business, you little bastard. Is that all right? No. Dude, dude, just go in the house, man. I'll see you when I get home, all right? Oh, yeah, right. The fuck is this? Shit. You wrote it, right? Tell me what it is. Read it. Listen. Urban Neighborhood Renewal Mission? I'm not stupid, Malachi. I know exactly what the fuck this is. How long do you think you can hide this shit from us? You can't do this to hardworking people. They deserve a goddamn chance. I didn't say it was gonna be free. Free? Try affordable. You'll be able to pay the goddamn rent. Look, don't fucking touch me, man. You'll have nothing to worry about. You'll be in a better apartment making more money. You can help me bring the city out of the slums. Look, I didn't volunteer my time to help you break down my fucking neighborhood. I came here to make sure you made this a goddamn better community. What happened to all that shit you just fucking told me? What happened is shit got real. I didn't make this choice. I had no choice. We need change. These fucking people can't even walk down the street to vote. Five minutes is all it takes. How the fuck am I supposed to help people like that? I tried to help. You didn't I, try I did. a goddamn thing. The only thing you did was easy for you. You selfish son of a bitch. I was counting you to make the right fucking... Where you headed? Come on, let me holler at you. 
Bro, I told you I'm done already, man. Find your new nigga, man. Damn. Nigga, you can't quit me. What you mean I can't quit you, bro? You got bodies and resources. I own you. You don't need me, bro. Get in the car. Oh, bro, get off me, bro. Don't blame me, because you brought into a broken system. I'm just trying to survive like everyone else. Like everyone else. You know, I can get away with this shit. I fucking promise you that. You didn't think you'd see me this soon, huh, nigga? Yo, what the fuck do you want? Your boy got caught on main in broad day. That girl didn't have to die. I don't give a fuck what happened. I want him out. You know you can do it. I already told you. He got caught up by the wrong people. Those cops ain't with me. You owe us. What you looking at? Or did you forget? All that dope money. You wouldn't be here without us. It doesn't have to. Hold him up. Get over here. Get over here. Do it. You don't have any other options. Do it! Pull the fucking trigger! Do it! See you soon. <laughs> I um I've done too many bad things. Things I won't mention in detail. I ask you not only for forgiveness, but for clarity. I don't like where I've been. And I don't I don't even know where I'm headed. But if, if Amani and Isaiah can find you, at least I could do is try. It's just so much, so much is happening.
Cameron Spivy. You've been read your rights, correct? Yeah, three days ago. And you understand why you're here? It's been three days. I haven't seen or heard shit from my lawyer. So no, I don't know why the hell I'm still here. Listen, she's on her way. In the meantime, how about you tell me your relationship with uh, Malachi? I think I'm fucking stupid. I know my rights. We really gonna do this, Cameron? Nah, I just told you she's coming. Where the fuck is she? Nothing. I don't have a lot of time here. These are just preliminary questions just to collect information about you and the victim. Listen, Cameron, you're a smart man. And I do respect that. What do you think's gonna happen when I go back and tell my chief that you're withholding information? Cameron, do you have something to be guilty of? Listen, our witness said she heard you and Malachi get in some heated debate right before he died. What the fuck happened, Cameron? Go ahead. I want to see my lawyer. Have a good day. Yo, what, yo, what the, yo, I didn't do shit. I don't know shit. I, yo, I want to see my lawyer. Afternoon to you too. Hey, yeah, man. Good afternoon. Listen, I don't have any issues with you today. So this is this is where you come. Yeah, all my life. You don't mind? I'd like to head back in. Hey, wait, wait. What happened to that that guy you arrested? The one that's been all over the news. The guy that killed McGraw. Come in or what? More breaking news coming this morning from the holding center in Erie County as it appears Cameron Spivey, the man who is believed to be connected with the murder of Mayor Malachi McGraw, was found dead in his cell at 6 a.m. Spivey was arrested three days prior as officials suspected him to having been the murderer of Buffalo Mayor McGraw. The medical examiner ruled the cause of death to be asphyxiation. Officials are not yet ruling out the possibility of suicide, as it was noted that when Spivey entered the holding center, he was argumentative but cooperative. As the days passed, it was stated that he became more belligerent but was never physically aggressive towards any of the officers. At this time, holding officials and other staff have refused to make an official statement regarding this mysterious death. It's not yet determined if the FBI will monitor further investigations relating to this case, but they hope to meet with New York State authorities soon to devise a game plan for the future. <laughs>